everyone, it's Mona here Craft Clutch. Today we're going to make a stepping stone for Mother's Day. I've had some good responses to the concrete crafts that I've been making, so I've decided to do a new one, and this one is going to be for Mother's Day. I have the silicone mold, and I have my mix. If you go to the hardware store or home improvement store, they'll be able to help you find something that will work very well. Now, I wanted to color this. I've done just the plain concrete color the last time, and this time I'm going to use a little fabric dye. It's a flamingo pink fabric dye, and I'm going to put it right into the water, and I'm going to mix it around. And I want this to have a pretty, pretty strong color, because once I put the cement in, it's definitely going to mute it. So it looks pretty deep. I'm going to let it dissolve a little bit. So I'm going to slowly drop it in here and start mixing it. So this is the color I ended up with. I wasn't really sure how it would turn out, and this turned out okay. So I'm going to just pour it right in here. Now I'm going to just kind of smooth it a little bit. Now I need to quickly start putting in my pieces. I'm using these little floral stones. I'm going to make flowers. I have yellow in the center, um, red on the outside, but you can do any color scheme that you want that works for your mom. And this is perfect for the kids to get involved in. Now I'm going to add some extra fancy stuff on the edge. I just have these round clear marbles and I'm just going to border the whole thing with these. Then you want to press everything down, make sure it gets embedded so it has a little hold. And kids can do any kind of decoration that they want on this. Now to add a little more color, I'm going to add some blue ones and press those in. Then we will just let it sit. Um, I spritzed it with a little bit of water because that's what my directions say, to spritz it every once in a while. So I did, and I'm going to try to use that to clean off any of these stones that I might have gotten all filthy dirty. This is set, and it has dried a whole lot lighter than it was when it was just starting to set, and I'm going to pull this out, and it comes out super easily. Here's the back, here's the front. I'm going to let it finish curing, and then I'm going to put it out in the garden. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you give it a try to spruce up your garden or to make something for your mom. Be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below. We'll see you next time. In the meantime, stay safe and happy crafting. Be sure to check out some of my other videos, too.